Good day, everyone. I am Richie B. Clemente, and together with Ma'am Ria Jean Conchas, we are to discuss about the application in 3D geometry navigation. I hope this lesson finds you well. Again, welcome to our class. Below are the targeted objectives that we are to attain at the end of the discussions. At the end of the lesson, students will be able to determine the uses on importance of geometry in navigation and cite example of application in 3D geometry in real world. 3D geometry involves the mathematics of shape in 3D space. Just like the two dimensions, you can give coordinates to a point in 3D. The three dimensions are the x-axis, y-axis, and the z-axis. Have you ever heard of how 3D is used in navigation? Well then, let's start our discussion. It has been said that a point in three dimensions will have coordinates, the X, Y, and Z. This order has its application in our day-to-day -day life. The blue is the sky can be positioned by its coordinate. The position of the submarines are the given by its coordinates in 3D. Suppose you draw a line in a wild shed and you put a point anywhere on the line. This point cuts the line segment into two parts. These parts are maybe in some ratio with each other. So by using this ratio, we can find the coordinates of the point in a plane in three dimensions. When traveling a short distance, the difference between what appears to be straight line Connecting two points on a map of the world and the great circle connecting the two points is a small enough that can be ignored. When traveling a distance such as the distance between two continents, the difference can be quiet, substantial, and costly to be an educated navigator. Geometry has several day-to-day -day implications. Here are the few ways that highlights its significance. A. 3D Geometry as a concept allows the student to connect mapping objects in the classroom to the real-world context in respect to the directions and place developing their practical thinking. And B, it finds huge application in real life as it helps us in deciding which materials to use and which design to make. Here are some of the uses of 3D geometry in our daily life. So, A, measuring orbits and planetary motions. The center one is the constructions of building. And the right one is for the yellow computer graphics. These are also many uses that other than what is written above. But it's for you to discover, my dearest students. In additional information, the spherical geometry on world navigation. It is often the case that these great circle paths seem odd especially as one tries to connect cities that are far apart and far north or south of the equator. This is because great circle paths that connect northern cities tends to curve towards the North Pole and the southern cities have a similar occurrence. For instance, even though Tokyo and St. Louis are both very close to being located on the 37th parallel, the Great Circle which connects them passes over Nome, Nome, Alaska, which is near the 64th parallel. Even though this still surprises most people, Great Circle routes and their implications to navigations were first described by Ptolemy in his work Geographia in the year 150 AD. Is everything clear? Very well. As the form of conclusion, we now proceed to the summary of discussion. The ability to learn to about geometry for navigation seems to be innate. But the use of geometric cues to navigate 
is to determine by both nature and nurture. In order to navigate on a ship or on land, there are two basic facts that you need to know. Which directions you're heading and how far you have traveled. Try and learn. The assessment are in the form of the following questions. One, what are the importance and uses of geometry in navigation? Two, cite two examples of application in 3D geometry in the real world. These are the references for the discussion. Feel free to expand your learnings using the following links. And we're done for the day. Let the words of Gaal Dernick be each in your mind. Math is never just numbers. When the words when the words fail us, we use math to describe the inexpressible, the things that are terrifies us most. The vastness of space, the shape of time, the weight of the worth of a human soul. Okay, that concludes our discussion. I am Richie B. Clemente and happy learning.